Morning everyone, big thanks to Big George holding the camera. We will get him on camera soon. Um, he's a big part of what's gone on on here with all the groundworks, with all the block and beam, with everything, just helping the bricklayer carry on. And he's also learning how to lay bricks and blocks. He's coming on really well. So the next video, I'll make sure I get George involved and see what he's up to. So let me just show you around this site, somewhere beautiful in Kent. Uh, Big facts to Matt, the bricklayer over there, um, organising all this job. Literally been a nightmare on this job. If you watch back on our previous YouTube, you'll see with all the rain and everything. But they're out of the ground now, so onwards and upwards. So let's have a look. So what they've done is they've dug out the whole driveway. We've put how many ton of hush concrete we had in here? One load or two? I think it was two loads, wasn't it? Two loads, yeah. 40 tonne of crushed concrete. And then we put planings on top just so we got a nice area to drive in. It's not going to sink in case we get any bad weather. And then if George shows you, so what we've done, we've had the chippies come here. They put all the frame, all the windows. This is going to be here, this bit here, George, is complete glass all the way up. Then you have a section of cladding and then a panel of brickwork. If you have a look at the construction, what Matty and George have done is they have put a DPC tra trade damp course in. So if we have a level threshold, we're not going to get no water coming in and bridge our barriers. Then we've got a breathable membrane, tie back, whatever you want to call it, up against our plier. And then you can see we've got insulation. Also on the other side, on the internal, we'll have Cinetex as well, inside that as well. So the thermal barrier is going to be really tight. So we achieve all our goals with our insulation and keeping it nice and warm inside. As you walk around, what they've done as well is they've painted the beams. Because obviously our brickwork goes up against it. And what they don't want, any moisture coming through here and onto it. Uh, we give this free coats that we enjoy. Yeah, mate, yeah. Free coats, free coats, coats. It's easy for me to say, bud, isn't it? <laughs> so we've given free coats on here uh, so we don't get no penetration, any water coming through it. Really, really important that everyone's thinking. Then look at this floor. So Big George and Big Matty have been putting this all in, put all the block and beam in, made sure all the drainage is in the right place. You can see we've got all our airflow along plus the chippies have come out they put 1200 gauge membrane this screen and then a dpc underneath so we just look when in doubt put dpc about so what we do is we'll put a slurry mix on this george yeah, mate, yeah. grout it all in basically it ties all the blocks together nice solid floor no airflow coming up we'll fist screen the whole floor then we'll sellotex then we'll fist screen it again so it's completely so as you can see with all the timber work going up we'll have the chippy coming here i think the chippy's coming here tomorrow isn't he yeah to just do your dummy frames for all the brickwork yeah, so yeah. we know where we're going and what's going on um and it just helps everyone saves the bricklayer having to plumb all the corners and everything because everything's there we can gauge our bricks so look guys we're just waiting now for the steels for the first floor. So we're hoping within the next 10 days that will come in and then it will change again. We'll just say hello to Matty, who's part of that. So we, all, like, we did say to Matt, should we get another brick layer in to help him? No, his brick work is 10 out of 10. And we need to keep the consistency. And George makes sure every gauge is the same gauge. He'll, fill the bucket up with sand, smooth it off with a saw so it's all nice and flat, throw that in the mixer so the whole gauge is always the same. Do not change your cement, do not change the sand where you get the sand from because it will change colour if everyone should be conscious of that. Then we're just going to show, look, John just set this all up for young man and I bought him a little radio and it died. That's how cheap I am, how long yeah, did it last? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? Yeah, we'll take it. So, Oh, but look, if you have a look here, look at this. We've got weep holes, we've got brick fence. Beautiful. Yeah. Big thanks to Matt. Good morning, Matt. Morning. All right, bud? Yeah. How's your back? All right, mate. <laughs> As you can see, look, he's painted all the steels, then he cuts the brick around it so it's all nice and tight. 
and then George goes around and helps point up, don't you? Yeah, mate. So look, guys, we've got the insulation in, so everything's going really well here. Um, thank you for staying tuned. Please ring the bell, subscribe, tell everyone about us, watch our things. If you've got any comments, if you think we're doing something wrong or if you think we're doing something right or you want any advice, go on our website. We've got a live chat. We'll answer any questions. Um, thank you for tuning in. Take care. Together we build... Dreams. Together we build... Dreams. Together we build dreams.